Hey y'all, N4H and H here with the Kenwood TS890S currently set to its SWL shortwave listening mode. Note the nostalgic looking tuning dial, the little red indicator where I'm tuned to. It says mega cycles instead of megahertz and it has a vintage looking S meter. Kenwood has done that throughout this rig, various S meters, uh, that was kind of a nod back to nostalgia, but they do have a digital bar graph dial as well. What I want to show you in this video has to do with down conversion. I have a separate video coming soon for the members of my Patreon team who are S9 VIP level about this shortwave listening mode in detail. They've been watching a tutorial series about this radio since early 2024 and more to come. What I want to show you here is this is a great opportunity to illustrate what we mean by down conversion and if you want a lot of detail about that on my Patreon site there is a collection called Technical. There's a there's a page of collections and look in the technical collection. There's a post there about down conversion and the misconceptions about it. It's a good thing, not a bad thing, but people will complain. They'll say my radio is deaf at certain SWL frequencies. Well, watch this. This radio goes deaf around 8.2. Does it start receiving again until around 8.4? Well, let me show you something. 8.24. Eight. That is the first intermediate frequency for this receiver. This is a super heterodyne architecture. It has a first IF intermediate frequency. Now, Yesu uses around 9 megahertz, depending on the radio, but it'll be around 9 megahertz, and their radios will also be deaf at around that frequency. Now, why is this? Because the first IF is down in the HF portion of of the radio spectrum. That's 1.8 to 29.7 megahertz. Some radios use up conversion, up above 29.7. They're typically between 40 and 70 megahertz. So you think, well, this is bad. I can't receive all of the SWL frequencies I want to receive. That's true. If you want to do SWL listening, get an SWL radio because you don't want to force your ham radio to have to do that. Why? Because filters for the first IF are better when you use a down conversion architecture. The frequency 8.248, 9 megahertz, there are better quality roofing filters available for those frequencies than there are for 40 to 70 megahertz. So you want your ham radio to be able to be a good ham radio, a very good receiver. Don't compromise on that. Again, more detail over at patreon.com forward slash N4HNH. 73.